Can we drag those in there? No. Oh my god. What was that? Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Project Castaway. So as you see, I've made a few changes since the last episode. I spent a little bit of time just um, recreating the base a little bit. We've got a few extra sort of tools. I decided to go for the raised bed. I've also got a couple of torches. Talk about torches, we should light them. Just uh, try and get rid of this um, horrible looking weather. It looks like the rain is dying down a little bit, but we need to bring some light on the situation. Okay, so now we've got the place lit up a little bit. Um, I decided to bring this surfboard that we found just down there. Kind of stuck it on the ball for a bit of home decor. We've got our spinning wheel over here. We also have a prep table so we can make a bit more, more delicious meals. And I also created the metal barrel stove. And then over here, we've kind of got some small sticks in storage over here. Some long sticks. We've got a few logs in storage as well and we've only got one stone in storage but we've also got a water scratcher so this keeps our water nice and fresh. However we metal to drink a little bit of that and so yeah that's just a recap on what we've done with the base and I think now what we're going to do is we're going to start off by reading what we kind of missed out on last time. So if we open up the did um i believe we did get a note here from logan harper so if you're reading this you must be as desperate as i am name's logan harper we were flying thinking everything was fine until that storm hit the plane went down fast faster than you can imagine the stench of burning fuel and charred metal is something i'll never forget wreckage is scratters scattered across several islands i survived but barely when i came to the stench was overwhelming and the sounds of children crying cut through the i can't really work out what that word is meant to mean anyway it's been two days since the crash the plane is still smoking too dangerous to go near i found a few other survivors a woman and three kids i haven't bothered to learn their names yet they look at me like i'm supposed to save them and i resent it their fear is palatable the kids constant crying pierces the air and the sight of their terrified faces smeared with dirt and tears it makes my stomach churn right after the crash i stumbled upon the wreckage and bodies the sight and smell made me puke the acrid taste of bile lingering as i tried to gather up my senses my short term memory is shot i can't remember where we took off from or where we were heading it's all a blur i have a nasty concussion and my head feels like it's splitting open only the long term details stick my wife my family back home their faces are etched in my mind a cruel reminder of what i've lost i miss them terribly the loneliness is suffocating so that's a pretty sad story and i'm guessing that plane over there that we got the blueprint from i was venturing over this way and i found another sticky note here on the rock so i thought i'd leave it for you guys in this episode so let's go ahead and read this one as well so another one of logan harper's notes i believe maybe um yeah part two the struggle okay so let's just head back to september 1st and this one is six days later so it's been six days since the crash my head still throbs from the concussion and the short-term memory loss is maddening i have to rely on a woman i've overheard her name is claire and the kids more than i like they seem to think I'm their leader, but I can barely keep myself together. The stench of the wreckage hasn't faded. Every time I catch a whiff, it brings me back to those first moments. To the bodies, and that, that's kind of annoying that the thumb kind of covers over this word. I can't seem to make out what that one is. I'm trying to piece together what happened, but everything's still a blur. The kids cry less now, but their eyes are filled with a silent plea I'm not equipped to answer. Claire is doing her best to keep the kids calm. She comforts them, whispers reassurances. It's admirable, but it feels pointless. We're strange as friends together by fate. We've no idea how to survive this place. I miss my family, but thinking about them feels like a luxury I can't afford right now. I've noticed Claire watching me. She wants to talk, to make plans, but I avoid it. I can't afford to get attacked. I noticed cuts and bruises on the children and can't help but wonder if they will really make it here. If not, I'd rather avoid further heartache. I've managed to build a fire for us and some palm beddings on the floor. It's not much, but it's something. We found some food amongst the wreckage so far and have been sustaining ourselves. Though I worry about the rations. Claire keeps saying they'll find us in no time, but I have my doubts. Still her optimism is a small comfort in this madness. Hmm, okay, so I wonder if they are still around anywhere, if I can find them. But what I was thinking is, as we've kind of got a little bit set up, I will probably um, fulfill my hunger. It's getting pretty late and I'm running a little bit low on energy. So what we'll probably do is um, a recoup for the night. I'll probably gather some food, make sure we're up and full. And then I think we should explore this sort of island. I was thinking about crafting a raft and heading over there. But I kind of want to explore this island first, see what we can find here. So while we've got some food cooking, there wasn't up 
update to the game so a few things have changed so in the bottom left where we've got our protein and our vitamins and that from our vegetables um apparently when they get lower they don't affect your hunger so much so before if these were low it was very difficult to get your hunger up apparently they have kind of fixed that and they've also increased the amount of hunger you actually get from the food so that's increased up by 50 percent which is pretty good as well um there was a lot of complaints on how difficult it was to get your hunger up and how it was quite difficult to sustain it while traveling and exploring a bit species so that's all been kind of optimized which is good so we're just going to finish up here with some water and then i think we'll get some shut eye um hopefully we can sleep till early hours in the morning let's see how it is here so we can get eight hours sleep and it's five now so that'll bring us to early hours in the morning but i think if we just lay here and rest we'll waste a little bit of time so we can wake up nice and fresh in the morning i'm gonna go ahead and get some exploration done okay so here we are nice and bright and early in the morning now i have explored this side of the island a little bit just along the beachfront and there was some potato plants over here that i can sort of dig up with a shovel now my thinking is if we just head over to our book here is i would like to do a small patch farming and a large patch farming for some trees as well now they take logs which are pretty easy to do so i think that's definitely something we'll look at when we get back i might dig up a few of these potatoes when we get back because i don't really want to do it now and end up going rotten um so i think we'll save that for a bit later on but i want to explore a little bit more of, of what this island holds so just over here i believe are the potato plants yeah there's a couple there so there's quite a few over here potato plants so we can dig those up and we can kind of um, plant them and get them grown so we can't really go any further over in this direction um, there is some debris down here but hopefully the sun's coming up now so we should be able to see a little bit better uh, but i'm not sure if we can how oh, we can get over here okay let's head on up here then let's see what we can find over here hopefully we're not gonna get ourselves in a sticky situation and not be able to go anywhere at all what's this one slice flag huh interesting let's see what this is all about we can craft the pole and raise this flag oh interesting let's see how we can go ahead and craft a pole then i wonder where that would be located um it's not in blueprints utility maybe bird's snare tannin station um it's not in farming national flag possibly one slice flag there we go ah so lodged it one slice flag which we got and that looks like it's for the raft so we need to craft a raft before we can do that looks like we've got another island over there to explore oh and another little one over there so yeah there's definitely a lot to explore over this direction um i don't think we can go any further that way so i think we'll just have to head kind of back down here and i think we'll just go up and over this hill sort of try and reach the top of this see where it takes us let's have a browse up here see what we can find gotta be some hidden stuff over here somewhere um that's a palm that's kind of cool um let's see what's on the top of this cliff edge gotta be something up here this tree looks kind of conspicuous so let's go oh my god i've just found the jackpot here we just found a load of blueprints and a poor soul that seems to have lost their life so let's have a look see what these blueprints are um shark axe plane engine okay and a crab spear interesting let's have a look and see what these are then so blueprints crab spear so we do need to increase our crafting level for these the medicine looking axe made with shark fins and teeth alien looking spear made from crack legs and a single pincer and obviously the double-sided axe as well so that was definitely worth venturing up here for there's got to be some more stuff on this island we've definitely got to keep our eye out though because that was pretty well hidden so there's got to be more around here somewhere that we can find i think this island's relatively small so i don't think we're going to be kind of staying around here for very long before we end up moving on what was that that i just saw ah oh, stone okay um is there anything else up here seems to be stuff on these sort of cliff edges more than anywhere um no but there is something over this side of the beach by the looks of it gotta try and head back down there i guess um that island over there um, i don't really want to swim over to that island i don't think that's going to be very clever if we do but it's definitely a definitely dense jungle island over here that's for sure i'm not sure what that is something's attacking me i'm not sure what it is um is it a scorpion or something i can't see it yeah it is a scorpion i don't want to get poisoned ah oh. We got rid of it it's okay what's this in here nothing just part of the foliage need to try and find a way down there there's got to be something down there worth having especially if it's hard to reach there's definitely got to be something down there uh, we probably could scale down this sort of way might be 
possible. Yeah, I think we can scale down here. We can go and venture this side of the beach. Got to be something down there. I can I can feel it. Got to be something. But before we head down there, well, we could come back up here, I guess, and check around this sort of area. I definitely think it's worth... Oh, we found some more. A lavender plant. So, blueprint. You found the blue fit for Oasis Seasoning and Jaguar Spear. Okay. Oh, there's the plane. Huh, so we've kind of gone around in a circle, which is pretty good. At least we know where we are now. So we could just venture over this side of the beach because we haven't gone that way yet. So I guess we'll just um, traverse back down. Hopefully found it find our way down safely oh what's this here small stick okay not too worried about the small stick i'm gonna try and traverse down here without ending up in a deadly situation okay so here we are at the plane so this is where we found the blueprint for the double-sided axe and um, we've got stone here i don't think there is actually going to be much more on this island than what we've already discovered but it's definitely worth checking out this place properly especially now um is there a way that we can kind of get down here nope there's nothing down this way um there are some scrap engine parts and stuff i'm pretty sure we come up from that way last time so just want to explore over here a little bit oh gooseberry plant that's got to be worth having surely um gooseberries small stick uh gooseberry that will do for now all right let's just have a look a little explore up here make sure we're not missing anything and then we'll head down to the beach and we'll kind of traverse this way around and we'll see what we can find over here maybe there's a cave or something around this way okay so let's head back down to where we know our base is which is just around the corner from here so we are fairly familiar with this sort of area but we haven't explored around this way of the beach as i said so oh coffee plant don't think we've um experienced that yet so we'll definitely take some of those might as well take these as well we'll go back and see what we can do with them at a later date um so yeah so our base is just here so we'll we'll follow this beach along um we'll grab this coconut inventory full okay so we need to clear up some of this inventory um we'll eat this snail could probably done with getting rid of this cloth to be honest and um, we can stack those a little bit better probably apply the bug repellent that will give us a little bit more room and then we'll just pick up this coconut coconut is a good source of food and that we do need a pickaxe because we've got granite here. Oh, granite. Could really do with crafting a pickaxe. I wonder if we can do it with a normal axe. No. Could really do with crafting a pickaxe because we could get a granite um, granite knife if I remember rightly. So we're going to tools or weapons. So yeah, granite knife. Can we use to chop small plants or kill animals? Same as a stone knife, but I think it's slightly better. And also a granite spear as well. So I think it might be worth crafting a pickaxe so how do we get the pickaxe let's have a look stone pickaxe small stick um stone shard and rope we could craft one of those now um but that means we will have to lose one of our items on our back because we can't use them both which is a little bit of a shame we don't need the hammer necessarily because that's just for building so what i might do is we'll pick up this coconut while we're here at base i think we should just um drop some items off over here in our storage i need to build a little storage area actually come to think of it so where we get storage so drop box log times three large stick same bad security but more space is it worth doing perfectly drop things when your backpack not very secure um yeah this will do here i think that should be pretty good so we need to add some cloth see that's the only downside to having the hammer it can be quite annoying so we've added the cloth we just need some large sticks we'll take two of those we'll drop them off and three logs as well so only pick two at a time off but that's kind of annoying though the fact that you can only pick up two logs but it requires three kind of annoying but anyway oh what's this so add kimono skin yeah we'll drop those in um we'll add the scorpion we'll drop the scorpion in we don't want to drop the coconut we might as well leave the rope no we want to pick up the coconut don't we let's see what else can we drop off We'll drop cloth off yeah we'll just drop all this cloth off i think that's probably going to be the best thing to do um what else have we got in our bag that we could get rid of so we could stack our coconuts probably move our gooseberries up here um we could probably just we'll drop all this cloth off because we definitely don't need all of this cloth so we can drop all of that off um probably drop these flowers off as well because i don't think we're going to need them and we're probably not going to need these coffee beans either um yeah okay i think we are good there so also what i wanted to do wasn't it i wanted to drop off this hammer so we can pop that there and then i wanted to be able to craft 
um, not in weapons. We wanted this stone pickaxe, didn't we? So a rope and a small stick. Whoever moves first is gay. Seems like I have um, bugged myself. I can't seem to move anywhere. It's very odd. Um, I can't crouch. I can't jump. What is going on in here? I seem to have um, created myself a bug. But well, luckily I can reach my bed. But hopefully I can get up from here. Nope, that doesn't fix it. Okay, looks like we'll have to save it. And then we might have to reload the game again to kind of get us out of this little sticky situation. Okay, so I've reloaded the game. That seems to fix it. So if that ever happens to you, just um, save and reload your game. Or if you weren't lucky enough to be beside your bed like I was, you might just have to reload your game. So let's have a look. Um, what did I say I needed? I can't actually remember. I needed one small stick. Go, okay, we've got our lovely pickaxe. So let's go and grab some granite and then we'll move along this beachfront and we'll see what we can find from there. So let's see how this pickaxe goes. So we've got yeah, just granite shards. Okay, so let's grab a couple of inventory slots worth of these shards. Didn't get anything from that one, I don't think. There we go. So we've got some here. So let's see how many granite shards we actually have. So we've got quite a few here. I'm not sure how many we need for our resources, but at least we know it's close by. We can always come and grab some as and when we need. Oh, there's another blueprint up there. Let's see it. Let's go. I don't know how we missed that blueprint to start with, or whether it's uh, was hidden behind here, so I probably didn't see it. What's this one? So plane air filter. Okay, so it looks like we can go ahead and start maybe building a plane, maybe. I'm not really sure how that's going to work. Let's open it up and see if we have anything from here. So palm tree. Ah, plane blueprints. Go crafting levels. Must be attached to plane chassis. So yeah, we've got some more blueprints to try and find. Let's head down here to this front side of the beach. We'll just explore down here because we haven't been down here to explore yet. I don't think we're going to find much down here apart from just some random debris that's washed up on shore. Uh, this tire might come in handy at some point. Got another surfboard over here to add to our collection. Got another sign. What's this sign say? Keep out restricted area. I'll do that. I do want that one. We'll definitely come back for that one, I think. That will definitely look nice in our little habitat. Um, what plants have we got over here? Let's just double check over here first. Make sure we're not missing anything. Damage air conditioner. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we have over here in the way of plants. I think that's a coffee plant. Okay, so we've got some coffee beans already, so that's fine. Got some greenery over here. More stones can't see much over here oh we've got silver over here as well okay i don't think we're at the correct level for that as of yet so i don't think we need to worry about silver so much anymore another tortoise there some more signs some more debris washed up i definitely think it's time we build a raft and we go for a little exploration oh what's this over here this looks oh it's a sticky note we found another one okay oh small white mushroom blue mushrooms now uh, we'll take some of these manure i'm not sure what you do with the actual manure right so let's read this sticky note we have another one which i assume it's from logan harper okay so part one part two so part three so another say week or so later so there's a lot to read here so you'll have to bear with but you can always skip this section if you don't want to read it or just skip and read it yourself so it's been over a week since the crash and reality is starting to set in the initial hope that we'll be rescued quickly is fading the food we scavenged from the wreckage is running low. I've started rationing what little we have left, but it's not going to last much longer. Claire, a 26-year-old medical student, has been doing her best to keep everyone patched up with the first aid supplies we found. She was on her way back home to Chicago. The kids, Tommy, age 9, Jake, age 7, and Emma, age... I'm not sure how old she is because the thumb's covering that again. Oh, age 5 okay so maybe there isn't anything written down there anyway we are on a trip to visit their grandma their parents didn't survive the crash today i spent most of my time searching the wreckage again hoping to find something we missed i managed to salvage a few more cans of food and a couple of bottles of water it's not enough but it's something i also found another first aid kit which we desperately needed my head is still pounding but at least now we have some basic supplies claire and i finally had a serious conversation about our situation she wants to she wants to organise a search party to look for more survivors and supplies. I'm reluctant to leave the crash site, but she's right. We can't stay here forever. The plane is still too dangerous to go near, with smoke and occasional small fires flaring up. Staying close to it isn't an option, but venturing into the unknown is just as terrifying. The kids have started crying again, their initial shock giving way to fear and hunger. Every little sound set them off at night, making it hard for any of us to get any sleep. 
They no longer believe Claire when she tells them we'll be rescued soon. It's heartbreaking to see the hope drain from their eyes. I've begun to think about how we will need to adapt to survive here long term. The idea of building a more permanent shelter and finding sustainable food forces is becoming more urgent. I've decided to keep a journal to record my memories in case I start to forget more. Good thing I packed one. Every night the sounds of islands grow louder. The wind through the trees, the rustling of the leaves, and the distant calls of unknown animals. Unnerving, I lie awake, staring at the stars. Wonder if anyone is looking for us. I try to remember more about the flight, but all its fragments. My wife's face is the only clear memory, and it feels like a lifetime ago. I don't know how much longer we can hold out like this. We need a plan, and we need it soon. Tomorrow, we'll start exploring beyond the wreckage. I hope we find something, anything that can help us survive a little longer. It's such a sad story. It really is such a, a sad sad story but i'm sure we've got plenty more sticky notes to find so we can kind of delve a little bit more into that story but on another side note i wonder if we'll find some sort of cave or something over this way definitely looks like there could be but let's explore a little bit more down this way i am very surprised actually i haven't found any messages in bottles at least i haven't yet anyway hmm I think we might be coming to the end of the beach over here so i think it might be time that we need to build a raft and explore one of the other islands i think we'll probably hit the small islands first we'll clear them out make sure there's nothing over on them uh, more signs more debris yeah i think we've reached the end of the beach over here okay let's just venture out over here slightly and see if there is anything i don't think there will be and this is probably a little bit of a risky maneuver yeah okay let's head back let's head back and we'll see about building a raft so i think we've pretty much uncovered everything on this island for now anyway that i can see let's just head up here and make sure we have everything covered so yeah i think this island over here is where i want to aim for next which isn't too bad we can head back to base we just need to head over back to our plane wreckage and kind of scoot over that way to check out that island i definitely think that sounds like a good idea so we're gonna traverse a little bit down here and hopefully not um, damage ourselves too much you never know we might find something on the way back down i don't think we will too much though i think we've kind of pretty much explored everything we can oh i found another sticky note so they really can be literally hiding anywhere so it's definitely going to be fun trying to find all of those i wonder if they're just on this island or whether they're on other islands as well try and get rid of this scorpion before it ends up poisoning me definitely don't want that um aloe vera we've got some of that anyway uh so i've really got to keep my eyes out now especially with those sticky notes that was in a bit of obscure place but it's definitely getting dark now so i think it's definitely a clever time to um head back to base ah we did say we we're gonna grab some potatoes didn't we and it was so, so ginger as well okay so here we are we are back at base i better get my torches all lit up okay so before it gets too dark i think what i want to do is get a little bit more of a food resource so we're going to go for two of the small farming patches i think for the potatoes quite possibly i think a compost heap might be a good idea as well we have got some rotten food i've just chucked over in the corner so i think that might be a good idea so we're going to go ahead and get to our little farm down here i don't know whether to expand that too much or um whether a farm down here is going to be okay in fact let's put our farm just over here i think so we can plant four there by the looks of it so we'll go ahead and do that how many logs have we got so we've got six logs so we can do the compost heap as well i'm not too sure if i want to do the trees because i'm not exactly sure how we go about farming the trees so let's go ahead and get a compost heap down and um, we'll pop that next to it just like that and we'll get them logs done and then we'll chuck that rotten food in that we have kind of stinking out our house a little bit we'll see if that can turn into compost and then we'll go and get them potatoes i think and we'll try and get them potatoes planted okay so compost we've got nothing out of that i'm not exactly sure what to put in it but if it was me at home i'd be putting these rotten fruits in there personally but we're gonna we're gonna find out um so let's see what we can do here so we've got mushrooms um we've got rotten potatoes can we drag those in there no oh my god what was that reload or go to menu 11 hours and 58 minutes i want 
was that a Jaguar or something? Oh, when did we last save? Oh yeah, we last saved before. Yeah, not when it last crashed, so before we found the sticky note and um, possibly the blueprints as well. Well, okay, so I had to obviously reload the game. I managed to grab the other blueprint and that sticky note we missed. Um, I also managed to get our compost and our little farm built up again. And I've just saved it. So hopefully the same thing won't happen again. But if it does, um, yeah, we're saved and we're prepared. So let's go ahead and carry on seeing how this compost works. So we just want to put those in there. Okay, so it looks like we've done that okay. Um, not the mushroom banana maybe yeah we can put those in there that's pretty good um what about the rotten crab arms we can put those in there as well okay so that seems to work pretty well so we've got two out of ten decomposing four items okay oh three out of ten posing three items okay and then small farming patch so i guess we'll go and grab those potatoes and we'll come back and see if we can put anything else in that compost heap um i haven't crafted the pickaxe again um because i don't think we've got quite enough level yet for being able to craft granite stuff um oh we have actually okay so maybe it is worth doing that might cut down trees and that a little bit quicker granite pickaxe mining level two that shouldn't be too difficult to get um and we've got a spade here plants and roofs pond spade gold spade bug net how does he catch a fishing rod okay so maybe it worth it might be worth grabbing um recrafting the pickaxe sorry and grabbing some granite we've also got some copper over this side i did notice so that will probably come in handy some point but yeah let's go ahead and grab these potatoes um i have got a spade over there i kind of dropped it off and had to eat a couple of potatoes because i was pretty desperate for food so we have got a spade over here so we'll just use that there we go and um, we will dig up these potato plants and we'll get them planted um so we only need kind of um, but I suppose we could do some more just um we could probably just make them go rotten if we need to wait for them to go wrong we might be able to just put them straight into the compost we shall see so let's head on back we'll drop our spade off we'll grab a couple of granite shards make ourselves a couple of better tools I think they're definitely a granite axe um I wonder if they do some sort of tool holder do they do a tool holder anywhere around here so let's have a look so we've got tools um arrows We've got weapons shelters and beds nope storage okay so shard container stone container weapon tool rack ah perfect large stick seven rope one i think it's definitely going to be worth doing that at least then we can kind of store our tools all in a certain place even the ones we don't use like the stone ones and definitely be nice to kind of pop them somewhere keep them all stored up neat and tidy i think um that's a coffee plant over there so yeah let's just work out how this works first of all so we've got six out of ten so can we just plant these potatoes over here plant a potato to the patch um how many of these can we do oh so just one we can only do one potato ah so water ah so 23 hours types of bugs two we have to put bugs in there as well that's a little bit odd a little bit confused with that so i guess we can put some potatoes in here we can okay so let's just put four potatoes in there that should take that up to 10 which should work out pretty nicely so let's go ahead and make this tool wrap like we wanted to um i think we'll put this inside um i think we'll put it over here that will look pretty nice over there so we're going to add the rope and we need seven large sticks how many sticks are we've got seven perfect that will do so we can put those in there and then we can start storing our tools in there so we're going to go ahead and do that there we go so add spade because we don't need that anymore and then what else can we put in there we could kind of keep the axe i think and we'll keep the knife for now so what did we need for the pickaxe um that's weapons so we need tall stone pickaxe we needed a small stick rope and a stone shard which we have so we'll grab that and we'll go ahead and craft this pickaxe and we'll go ahead and grab some granite from over here and kind of upgrade our tools a little bit and we can put the ones we don't use over there um, so let's have a look actually and see what we need so weapons we needed a well, granite knife just one shard okay and well, would a spear be better than a knife cheap and effective can be used as melee or ranged i wonder if it would be better or oh, a bow or a crossbow but what are the arrows um stone shard feather yeah probably going to take a while to craft them what would be better a knife can be used to chop small plants or kill animals I think a knife is probably going to be more versatile, possibly. Yeah, so we'll go for one shard for the granite knife. 
and then we will go for one shard for the granite axe as well so yeah that's all we need is two shards that should be pretty easy enough to do so there's our two shards that we needed so we're going to go ahead and we'll grab that extra one there so let's go ahead and craft ourselves a couple of extra a little bit better weapons i believe what have we got over here can we pickaxe that or can we not no that doesn't do anything okay so we need granite axe we need a small stick and then i think we just need a small stick for that as well so we'll grab a couple of those and what we're going to do is we're going to put our stone pickaxe just there we don't need that for now we're going to add the stone axe and then we're going to add a weapon uh won't let us put our weapon down in there so uh, that's fine we can craft those and we can just drop that on the floor so we'll do granite knife to start with and so we've got stone knife and we've got a granite knife there so the stone knife we can just drop we'll pop that down there and then we also needed a granite axe as well there we go we've got a granite axe so that's pretty good so let's see how our compost is doing so do we just pick this up or how how does this actually work the compost heap 10 point out of 10 okay so how do we go about actually extracting this compost heap um scarecrow fertilizer stat pesticide container leather times two that reminds me actually we have got some kimono skin so we could do with a meat rack actually to be honest with you that would be a very good idea what else was i thinking about thinking about a tanning rack i'm sure i saw a tanning rack somewhere where did i see the tanning rack up oh, table spinning wheel ball collector tanning station there we go and process animal hides into leather so that'll be a pretty good idea to do as well but as i said i think next on the agenda is going to be a raft um but do we want a leather pouch for carrying liquids no coconuts should be pretty good for that so let's go ahead and get a raft base flexible yet resilient base robust industrial crafted base with barrels so we go for the tires or the barrels i know there are plenty of barrels around actually so i think that might be the better option so i think we should go for the barrel i'm pretty sure there's loads of barrels floating around in places so i think this will be a good little idea so we're going to go ahead and i want a fairly decent sized raft probably about that big i think is going to be good think that should be pretty good and then that's a raft base so what we're going to need is a rudder that's cloth elastic protective cover and um, we are going to need a sail so we're going to put the rudder on i think and um, we can put that on over here oh okay so that's supposed to be the middle uh, in that case then we need to cancel that completely and we need to start again so what we need to do is we need a barrel base so we're going to pop that here and I'm going to do one either side. I think that should be, yeah, that should be big enough for now. I think that should be pretty good. So another blueprint. We're going to go for the raft rudder, which will go just there. Um, and then what we're going to do is get to a sail. So we could pop the sail just there for now. Yeah, that is pretty good. I don't think we're going to need more than one sail for now. That should be good enough, I believe. So, and then we could do the one slice fag just because... Oh no, we haven't got it anymore because we had to load in the game and I can't remember where we left that. Okay, well, let's get this um, let's get this raft built. I'm going to go ahead and grab some materials and yeah, we're going to get this raft nice and built. So as night time approaches and I'm getting this raft ready to go, I think now would be a good time to end the episode. So we've completely explored this island and now we're just building a raft and we're going to go and explore the little island over there. It looks um doesn't look like there's a lot on the island, which has kind of got me very intrigued. So yeah, hopefully you are liking the series so far. So Project Castaway, I'm thoroughly enjoying this game. Definitely the um, building of a home. I think we've come a long way. But yeah, hopefully I will see you in the next episode. It's been Cryptar here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.